So our starting quarterback is Carson Wentz, obviously. He's 89 overall, normal development, 24 years old. He's here to stay for the rest of this rebuild. Blunt is our starting running back. He is gone after this season, 30 years old, quick development, 89 overall. I want Jay Ajayi to start. He's a 24-year-old, quick development, 87. He has a little bit more potential, obviously. Jeffrey, Smith, and Aguilar are wide receivers. I think Aguilar, yeah, slow development, 24 years old. That kind of sucks, but so be it. 84 overall already, so he should be able to get up to 86, 87, 88 by the end of this. I will probably keep him the rest of the way. Uh, our, our tight end core, that's just our tight end squad. I don't know how you want to say it. So good. We have Zach Ertz, 26 years old, quick development, 94 overall. We'll probably get him up to a 99. I just did the Chargers rebuild. We got Henry up to a 99 overall. And he I think he was normal development, if I remember correctly. So this should be relatively easy. Trey Burton, I love, but I believe he is gone after this season. Let's look into that for one second. Contract, yeah. This is his final season, so he will be gone after that. Check out the offensive line real quick, though. Lane Johnson, 92 overall. Quick development, 27 years old. He will be here the rest of the way. Uh, Brooks, 90 overall. What is he? 28 years old. Quick development. So I'll probably keep him the rest of the way. I want to see what his contract looks like. Uh, four years remaining. Is he a, there's no way he's a rookie or anything like that, right? Let's click on that real quick. Five years. So why does he not have any stats? That's strange. Kelsey, 29 years old. Normal development, 87 overall. I don't know if we'll keep him or not. It's actually... Check out his good old contract real quick. Because this team's so good, like, just all around. So, four years remaining. So, he's going to be here the rest of the way, realistically. Hopefully, he just doesn't start regressing a lot. Uh, we have Wazenski. I don't know how to say his name. 28 years old. 82 overall. Normal development. He's probably going to be on his way out. And then Jason Peters. 92 overall. 35 years old. Yikes. Okay, he's definitely going to be gone after this. So, let's check out the defense. Our defense is so good. Look at that whole bottom row. We have our cornerback, 88 overall Robinson. I don't know how old he is or anything like that. 29, ooh, slow development, yikes. So he might be on his way out. Curry, 87 overall, 29 years old. So some of these guys are up here in age. I believe Cox is also, ooh, 26 years old, superstar development, 95 overall. Okay, Jernigan, 85 overall, what is his age? 24, not bad, so he's going to be here the rest of the way. Brandon Graham, 97 overall, 29 years old though, yikes, quick development. Uh, these guys probably have crazy contracts too, so this might be a little harder than I think. Because a lot of these guys are up there in age. They have so many years left on their contract. Because they're only doing four years if you haven't checked out one of my rebuilds before. Ronald Darby, I believe his name. Yep, 23 years old. Normal development. So he's going to be here the rest of the way. Malcolm Jenkins, 86 overall. He's 29 years old too. And his contract's probably long too. Let's find out real quick. Yeah, three years left. So we're kind of hindered down by our contracts. Uh, we have Brad Bradham. Bradham, I don't know how to say his name. 27 years old. 83 overall. Normal development. Not bad. Hicks, I don't even know. 20, ooh, he's a quick development. 25 years old, 79 overall. Kendricks just got cut, I believe, if I read that correctly the other day. 27 years old, normal development, 88 overall, so that's good. And then we have McLeod Jr., or McLeod Jr., 80 overall, 27 years old, normal development. So what I'm going to do now is sim to the midseason mark, and I will see you in one second. So at the midseason mark, we're 6-2. That's basically what I was expecting, 6-2, 7-1, 8-0, something like that. Does any of our guys have a crazy amount of XP? Wentz has 5,000. Aguilar almost 6,000 for a slow development guy. That's pretty good. Anyone on defense. Hicks with 5,500. Cox with almost 6,000. Other than that, nothing really. Let's see what our free agents are. Uh, we have Blunt. I don't want. Bra uh, Trey Burton. I'm not really worried about. Sproles, no. Graham, no. Yeah, no one here I really want. So I'm not worried about that. So I'm going to scout some. Actually, I'll bring you guys along for scouting. Uh, let's go here. What do we have for a pick? I imagine 27. So this team's a better record than me. Wow, what do we really need? I mean, we need better offensive linemen because that guy's getting up there in age. They're going to start regressing, but I guess a middle linebacker, a right outside linebacker we don't really need. A left outside linebacker, I guess we do need. We'll add him to the list. Wide receiver, I guess we could use. Running back, we don't need. Cornerback, not so much. Quarterback, obviously not. Let's look at another wide receiver. Defensive tackle, no. There's nobody here I need. This is a shame. It's a real, real damn shame. And add this guy to the list. I guess I'm looking at more cornerbacks. We're going to look at... I don't like to look... If you guys haven't... Let me set this up, I guess. If you haven't watched my rebuilds before, which you should. I've done 22 at this point. 22 different teams. I don't like to scout the offensive linemen until the offseason when you get their combine grades and all that. So that's why I skip over most of these guys. Uh, right end, no. Running back, no. Tight end, I guess. Uh, God, that guy's not even good. Cornerback, I'll check out. He's not good. Great. Right outside linebacker, don't really need. Middle linebacker, okay, can't even scout them. So what we're going to do now, sim to the playoffs. I'll see you in a second. So we somehow did not make the playoffs, which makes no sense whatsoever. We went 6-2. and two. What do we go the rest of the way? 10-6. and six. 
So we went four and four the rest of the way. That's such a joke. How many teams went 10 and six? One, two, three, four, five teams went 10 and six. Wow. Check out the stats right now. And then we're going to check out the awards, all that. That's transactions. Thank you for that. Uh, let's go up one. Carson Wentz must have had like an off year or something. 3,800 yards, which isn't that great. I think Phillip Rivers in my uh, my Chargers rebuild that I just did, did a lot better than that. 33 touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Like Garrett Blunt, 1,400 yards, 7 touchdowns. Wow. Ajayi had 16 touchdowns. What is going on? Jeffrey over 1,000 yards, 9 touchdowns. Almost 800 yards, 4 touchdowns for Aguilar. 12 touchdowns for Torrey Smith, 900 yards. Not bad. Check out the defense real quick. What do we have for sack totals? Ooh, Brandon Graham with 19 sacks. 10.5 for Curry, 8.5 for Cox, 7.5 for Jernigan. What do you have for interceptions? Four for Kendricks, three for Jenkins, three for Hicks, two for Darby, one for McLeod, one for Robinson. Okay. What do we have for safeties? We have a defensive touchdown, I see. Who's it going to be? McLeod with a defensive touchdown. Okay. Let's look at the awards real quick. Aaron Rodgers with the MVP. Do we have any Eagles players up here? We do not. Anybody that's out of the ordinary? Eli Manning kind of, Rivers kind of. Stafford, I guess not. Coach of the year. We must be here, right? No. We went better than nine and seven. We were nine and six. Like what? A, I, I I don't know what I have to do. I really don't get it sometimes. Aaron Rodgers, the NFC player, the uh, AFC player of the year. Yep. Okay, I said that right. I don't know why why I stuttered. Defensive player of the year, Brandon Graham, number two. Okay. Nobody else. Offensive rookie of the year. Do we have anybody? We do not. Defensive rookie of the year. Do we have anybody? We do not. Great. So let's sim to the off season. So the Tennessee Titans beat the Seahawks in the Super Bowl 2017. Get out of here right now. This is so dumb. This is so not realistic at this point. The Titans won the Super Bowl. Like, get out of here. Trey Burton, what do you want for a contract? I'm just, I'm just like annoyed at this point. I can't believe this. Okay, Trey Burton's going to stay on our team. Everyone else I'm not worried about. Let's get out of there. Let's sim the week. Actually, what do we have for XP? I didn't really look at that. 11,000 for Wentz. That's not good. 17,000 for Brooks. That's good. Lane Johnson with 16,000. So our offensive line is going to still be pretty good. 18,000 for Cox. 15,000 for Hicks. 10,000 for Kendricks. 17,000 for Brandon Graham. Okay, nothing really else there. Let's advance the week. So we have 14 million in cap space. I don't really know what we're going to be able to do with this. Cameron Brait, we don't need. We don't need any running backs. I guess we could bring in a backup, but that doesn't really make much sense. Wide receivers, we don't need. Cornerbacks, we don't need. Offensive, like we don't really need any of these things. So I think, I think we're just going to advance the week. We'll keep the money. I don't know what our draft pick's going to be realistically. I imagine it's going to be like... 18, 19, 20, 21, something like that. Let's see. What do we got? 19. I was I was close. Uh, so we're not going to be able to get any of these guys really far up here. We could maybe get the left outside linebacker. So what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to scout off screen and I'll show you. I'll see you at the draft. I'm going to show you my plan, all that. I'll see you then. So here we are at the draft. I have no idea how this is going to go because there's just nothing we really need. Uh, let's see if any of my players are going to be here. Let's go down a little bit. Okay, so we can get the middle linebacker that I wanted. That's good. I'm going to take him right now. Look at those combines. This should be... What? He's not quick or superstar? 78 overall. I can't believe that. I thought he was going to be for sure. We don't have a second round pick. So do we have a third round pick? Okay, we do. I'm wondering if we should trade back a little bit because there's nothing I really... like. I scouted a lot of guys, but there was no one I wanted to add to my draft board. Like, there's a six-round guy I want. There's no middle linebackers I really want. Maybe the six round Like, there's nothing I need or really want. Actually, there was some... Now that I think about it, what am I talking about? Was there a left tackle, a left guard, or maybe a center that I wanted? No. Actually, they might have went in the second round and we didn't have a second round pick. That's right. Okay. So, what I'm actually going to do is trade these picks back because it doesn't really make sense to take anybody here. What are we going to get? Second and a fourth next year. That's not bad. We have like a, maybe a first. I, I can't imagine we get a first actually. I'll take that second and a fourth from the Bears. So I'm trading my fourth round pick for a third and a sixth next year. We, I think we're just going to load up. It just makes the most sense. I'm going to take a few guys later in the draft. But as of right now, oh, we have another pick. I think I'll, I think I'll trade this one away too. What do we got? A third, a third, a fourth, and a seventh. I'll take a fourth and a seventh. That makes sense. Let's go from the Colts because they're... Probably going to be bad. So with our fifth round pick, we are going to take another middle linebacker, Curtis Dillon. Normal development, 70 overall. I traded basically all of our fourth round picks away. I'm probably going to trade our seventh round pick away if I have my way with it. I don't want to trade this one. Unless they actually took the left outside linebacker that I wanted, which is definitely possible. They absolutely did. So I'm going to trade the rest of these draft picks away. So I upgraded all my players. I've just realized that Jason Pete is retired. So we're going to have a little bit of a hole in our left tackle. But other than that, our team's looking pretty good. We got Jeffrey up to a 95 with confidence. Jay Ajayi, 89. Gwen's 90. 
Nothing really else is a huge change. I guess Lane Johnson went up 2 to a 94. Brooks went up 1 to a 91. Nothing big on defense really either. A lot of our guys are just getting up there in age. And I don't know how this rebuild's actually going to go. I thought they were pretty young on the Eagles, but I guess not. So what we're going to do now is send to the midseason mark. I will see you then. Here we are at the midseason mark. Let's find out what our record is. We are 5-3. and three, So a little worse than last year. Last year we went 6-2. and two, But we did lose Jason Peters. Some of our guys regressed all that. Does anyone have a crazy amount of XP? We have Hicks with 6,000. What is this guy doing? That's our rookie, Becton. 5,400, not bad. 7,000 across the, or not across the board for Cox and Graham, not bad. What about on offense? We do not really have anything going on right here. Wentz with 8,000, but he only had 11,000 last year. So don't know really what he's going to do. Let's find out who's going to be a free agent. Brandon Graham, I got to bring back, obviously. Ooh, we have a lot of cap room, too. That's good. Okay, we got Brandon Graham back. Jay Ajayi, obviously, he's coming back. Let's give him 4-5. Let's up this a little bit so he's actually happy. Yes, okay, that's good. Ronald Darby, definitely bring him back because I think that's what they traded their second round pick for last year so they could get Ronald Darby. Okay, we got Darby back. Patrick Robinson. Do we bring him back just for one year? I think we will. Aguilar, definitely have to bring back Jordan Hicks. Eh, I mean, we don't have to bring back Jordan Hicks. Okay, Aguilar is going to stay. Mm, Hicks, 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 Hicks. Quick development, 26 years old. Yeah, I think we have to, even though we have our rookie behind him. Okay, he's going to resign Chris Long. Get out of here. Nick Foles, what does he want for a contract? Four years, not doing that. Okay, nothing else really there. So let's see what we can scout now. Now, we did trade a lot of our draft picks. So let's check that out first. We have two second rounders, four third rounders, at least four fourth rounders. Okay, we have the 21st overall pick in the first round as well. And what do we need? We need a left tackle, which that's right there. I might try to trade up if we can. But I'm not going to scout him, obviously, right now. Wide receiver we need. Let's scout him. Uh, free safety, not so much. I will scout him just in case, though. Want to look at all the wide receivers that we can. Left outside linebacker. I guess we don't really need that, but I will scout them just in case. Uh, what do we really need? We definitely need a left guard and a center in theory, but I don't want to look at those guys quite yet. A cornerback we could use. Eh, let's scout him, too, because I forgot that we just signed Robinson for one year, so might as well get one while we can. Uh, see, there's a lot of these guys I will actually be on my draft board, but not as right now. And then we'll look at these two wide receivers to call it that. Oh, God, Horn is not good whatsoever. Okay, so what we're going to do now is similar to the playoffs. I will see you then. Then, you know, hopefully we make it. So we made the playoffs. We are 10 and 6. That's good. Let's check out the stats and all that. 22,000 XP for Wentz. That's good. Uh, 13, 14,000 there. I was going to go check out the stats and the awards, but might as well check this out first. Hicks had 12,000. That's not that great. 9,000 for our rookie. Not bad. I wonder if he'll be in any conversation for rookie of the year. We only went 9 and 6. Uh, that's not true. We went 10 and 6. Why did that say 9 and 6 then? That's weird. 3,800 yards, 35 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. That's great. Uh, rushing. Jay Ajayi, 1,300 yards, almost 1,400 yards, 5 touchdowns. Clement with 15 touchdowns. Not bad. Jeffrey, 1,100 yards, 8 touchdowns, 1,200 yards, basically. Aguilar, 600 yards, 5 touchdowns. Ertz, 6 touchdowns, 7 for Torrey Smith, 5 for Burton. Not bad. Not bad. See the defense real quick. 14 for Brandon Graham. A little bit of regression right there. 9 for Jernigan. Uh, 8 for Curry. 7 for Cox. 5 for Kendricks. Okay, okay. 6 interceptions for Darby. Glad we brought him back. 4 for Jenkins. 3 for Kendricks. 2, 2, 2. Uh, let's see. We have 4 good old safeties. Looks like we have a bunch of defensive touchdowns. 3. Three's a bunch. Yeah, right. Darby with 1. Kendricks with 1. Jones with 1. All right. Let's look at the awards real quick. Todd Gurley, MVP. That makes sense a little bit. That, he probably should have been MVP this season, even though Tom Brady won. And I'm kind of happy about that. Do we have any Eagles guys up here? Not in Coach of the Year discussion. Again, that's a little annoying. Anybody in the top 10? Carson Wentz in the top 10. That's good. Anybody in the top 10 for Defensive Player of the Year? No. Okay. Deion Jones, get out of here. Offensive Rookie of the Year. I don't think we really even picked anybody on offense. No, we did not. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Do we have anybody? No, we do not. That's a shame. Okay. Let's sim the week, see if we can... Who do we be playing again? Was it the Saints? Oh, no, the Vikings. That's right. Let's sim the week, see if we can beat the Vikings, get to the divisional round. Should be able to beat them, you'd have to imagine, right? The Eagles are better than the Vikings. Yes. Now we're playing the Green Bay Packers. That's when it's a little bit more complicated. So let's sim this week, see if we can get to the conference championship. Yes, we can. There we go. Okay. I do want to see... What do we have for XP and stuff like that? A good amount of XP, but I think I'm actually going to save it for... The off season. Can we actually look at our playoff schedule? I guess it can be team schedule either or. Uh, let's go playoffs. We beat the Vikings 31-23 and then we beat the Packers 2017. 
Now, the, the, the Falcons had two guys, number one, number two in Defensive Player of the Year, so that's going to be a little tough of a game right here. But let's see if we can make it to the Super Bowl. I hope we can. No, we didn't get there. We lost 36-22. That is a shame right there. So let's go to the offseason, see who won the Super Bowl, all that. The Titans won season one, so it could literally be anybody at this point. I'm, I'm going to go on to Lynn Browns. Browns are winning the Super Bowl. Calling it now. I don't even know if they made the playoffs, anything like that. But I'm calling it Cleveland Browns Super Bowl champions. Here they come in three, two, one. What did we go? What did we get? Tell me who won that Super Bowl. Uh, league schedule. Let's go to Super Bowl. The Falcons, who we lost to, beat the Pittsburgh Steelers 36-19. All right, all right, all right. Now, is there anybody we have to re-sign? Did anyone get a crazy bump in XP, by the way? No, not really. But we have we have a ton of XP where our team's going to be good next year. Probably be good the year after that. Nick Foles. Actually, that's right. We re-signed everyone we wanted to bring back. That is right. Okay, so let's go to the offseason. See if we have a good amount of money. Sign some free agents. We have negative $6 million in cap space. How does that work? Ebron's there. Is anyone I was going to get? Maybe McKinney? Eh, not really so much. All right, so I guess that's all we're going to do there. So let's skip the week. We're going to have to scout some players. Now, we should have a pretty bad draft pick, you'd have to imagine, but let's check real quick. We have the 29th pick, okay, and the 8th next round, so that's good. But what are we actually going to be able to get? I forget what we are looking at. Are we looking at a wide receiver, I guess? What is mid-first round, so that's not an option. Mid-first round, that's not an option. What are you going to be? Mid-first round, I need somebody late first round. That's what I need. This center might be actually late first round. Yes, okay. Add him to the list. Do we need a right guard? No. We need a left guard and a left tackle. Check out this guy right here. What are you going to be? You are late first round. I don't really know if I like you that much. Left guard, though. Ooh, that might be our man right there. I like that a lot. I do, I do, I do. What else do we got? I'll look at the right guard. Ooh, he might actually be really good, too. Oh, he doesn't really have that. I mean, he has good combine, but not really what I'm looking for. Now, we do have an eighth pick in the next, uh, in the second round. Let's go here. Let's go here. Cornerback we'll look at. Ugh, no, not so much. So what I'm going to do is scout off screen and I'll see you at the draft. So here we are at the draft. We have the 29th overall pick. I don't know what we're going to be able to pick here. Probably that center I have to imagine. Then we'll take, what is he going to go though? Mid first round. Okay. So we should be able to get both of our guys. So let's take the center right now. Hoping he's quicker superstar. Of course not. Reggie Burns. Man, some of my drafts I do so well and I think I'm going to do great. But then sometimes it just kind of falls off. Oh, no. He didn't get picked, did he? I forget what his name was. Oh, uh, it was probably Folston right there. So he won a few picks after me. That's so annoying. It reminds me of Nesbitt. Ugh. I thought we would have got our guy for sure. I mean, we can still get this guy. He's kind of slow. He's a route runner. I will add him, though. 72 overall, normal development. Man, these drafts are not going well for me for the Eagles. I'm sorry, Fritz. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. I see, I don't even know who to pick at this point because I had a lot of guys in mind. Let's look at my draft board. A lot of late guys. We could go with the left guard, I guess. We probably should just to be safe. Normal development. Can any of these guys just be quick or superstar? I don't know. I thought I had a, like a, it, in mind what it took to be like quick or superstar for the guards, at least, or the offensive linemen, but I guess not. Uh, what else are we looking at here? What are we in the third round? We have so many picks. So many picks. An obnoxious amount of picks. So I'm going to actually just take all my guys off the board real quick just to play it safe. What is he going to be? Normal development. Come on. Yes, we took Chris Hoffman center. 76 overall. Quick development. Might have to get some turnover in my position. Maybe we'll trade him, cut him, something like that. Who do we have? We oh, we have Kelsey. That's right. But he's up there in age where if I could get rid of him, I won't really mind it. So let's go fifth round right outside linebacker. What is this going to be? Normal development. Yikes, 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 yikes. Another pick. How many picks do we have? I know. A lot. I, I understand. I'm going to go with the left guard just to get him off the board now. Normal development, 78 overall. That's not bad for an overall. Okay, I like that. So let's advance the week a little bit. I might just pick all these guys off screen just because I don't know how like interesting, or, or, uh, interesting this is for you guys. Yeah, I think of the rest of them, I'm just going to pick off screen. Is there anything important like a quick development, superstar development, high overall, something like that? I will show you. So I upgraded all my players, plus they have a lot of confidence going for them. So Wentz is a 94, Ajayi a 92, Torrey Smith an 80, Elshon Jeffrey a 93, Aguilar we got up to an 86, Ertz is up to a 96, Lane Johnson 95, Brooks 92, Kelsey's an 85, but we do have some rookies behind him. I've been debating whether we should just put him on the trade block or something, but I'm not going to do that quite yet. Even though it might be a good idea, but none of these guys behind him are quick development or anything like that. Let's see what his contract actually is. I, oh, that's not the right thing. Let's go back. 
If one of the guys is quick development or superstar development or even closer to the 80s, I probably would just trade him away, but it doesn't seem necessary yet. Contract and awards. Let's go here. So yeah, it's two years left, so we could probably just stick with him for the rest of this rebuild. Uh, what else do we got here? I don't know how to say his name, 83. This is our left tackle because Jason Peter retired last year. He needs a 79 overall. And then on defense, nothing really changed. We got Robinson's at 84 with confidence. Brandon Graham, 96. Felcher Cotts at 98. Curry's at 83. Uh, Darby's at 88. McLeod, 79. Kendrick's 89. Hicks, 83 with our rookie behind him. Or he'll be in his second year now. Uh, Brandon's an 84 and Jenkins an 83. So what we're going to do now is sim to the midseason mark. I'll see you in a second. So at the midseason mark, we're 6-1. and one, So that's better than last year. Year 1, we went 6-2. and two, Second year, 5-3. and three. Now we're 6-1 and one at the midseason mark. We're going to have to re-sign Carson Wentz, obviously. But does anyone have a ton of XP yet? Nobody on offense. Wentz almost has 7,000, I guess. On defense, Hicks is getting a ton of XP. What does our backup have? 4,000. Yeah, no one's really getting a ton of XP. What are we in our division? Okay, so the Cowboys are four and three, the Giants are three and five, Redskins two and six. So I imagine Wentz is gonna want a lot of money, I would imagine. Yeah, Kendrick's is also gonna get a contract. Jesus, we don't have that much money. That's a shame. Uh, we have to bring back Kendrick's, I hope. Let's see if it'll take three years, seven million. I like the length of the contract, so that's it. Okay, Corey Clement, I wanna bring back. I'll see if he'll take three million. Uh, yes, okay, he's back. Everyone else, I'm not too, too worried about. Smallwood's all right, but like I said, not really going to worry about anyone else. So what are we going to have to do for our draft? Our team is pretty stacked all around. Obviously, we're going to need a new left guard. We still need a left tackle, but I'm not going to be able to scout that quite yet. Robinson's about to leave and Jenkins, so we need a strong safety cornerback offensive line. I guess we could also use a free safety if I'm feeling a little risky. Quarterback, quarterback, the left tackle we need, but I'm assuming our pick, yeah. Oh, we don't even have the best record in the league. That's kind of a joke. Uh, so what do we need? We need some cornerbacks. Let's add them all to the list. There's another one. Middle linebacker, not so much. Wide receiver we could use. Ooh, geez, I don't even want him on my draft board. Take him off. Free safety we need. Add him to the list. Wide receiver. Eh, he might be all right. I want to see what his combine and stuff is before I make that decision. Center, center, no. Okay, there's no one else I really... Dying to get. Was there any wide receivers up here? No. Any good quarterbacks? Who else could I really use? I like. I don't need any of these positions. Strong safety. I said I needed. That's okay. He's not even gonna be good. It's another strong safety. Uh, he, I think he has potential. It says he's gonna go undrafted, so maybe we can get him later on. And that. Wow. All these guys blow. I can't believe that. We're gonna have a late round pick most likely. So. I'm saying, oh, late first round, that's good. This guy could get in the late first round as well. Okay. Other than that, none of these cornerbacks are going to be that. I love this guy, but mid first round, that's realistically not going to happen. So let's go to the playoffs. I imagine we had to make the playoffs, right? Yeah, we went 12 and 4 before we sim the wild card round. Really? Wentz only got 10,000 XP as well? Jay Ajayi got 13,000. That's not bad. Ertz has 11. Lane Johnson has 10,000. No one else is getting a ton of XP. This is a little bit of a pain in the ass. 13,000 for Hicks. Okay. And obviously, it's too late now. 3,500 yards for Wentz. 25 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. That's really not that great. That's a good touchdown to interception ratio. But other than that, really nothing to talk about there. 1,500 yards, 10 touchdowns for Jay Ajayi. Wow. 16 for Clement. I'm glad we brought him back. Receiving. 605 touchdowns for Aguilar, 801 touchdown for Jeffrey. That's not good whatsoever. What are we looking at for defense? Looks like 15 sacks down there for Graham. Yep, 8.5 for Curry, 8.5 for Jernigan, 7 for Cox, 3.5 for Kendricks, 1, 5, 5, 5, 5, bah, bah, bah. Let's look at interceptions. 5 for Hicks, 4 for Mills, 2 for Dar or Darby, 2 for McLeod, 1 for Kendricks, 1 for... Jesus, how many guys got one interception? There's a bunch of them. Uh, nobody here for the Eagles. Do we have coach of the year? We must be up there. Yes, too easy, even though I have not won a Super Bowl yet. NFC, anybody in the top 10? No, anybody in the top 10? Yep, okay, we got Hicks, that's good. Nobody else really. Offensive rookie of the year, do we have anybody? Yes, we do. Good old Demarcus Freeman. I feel like he's my fullback? I honestly don't remember. Who is Freeman? I drafted these guys and I have no idea who he is. Yeah, he's my fullback. I, I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Wow. All right, let's sim the week. We should be able to beat the Buccaneers of all team. And then what do we play? We play the Vikings or the Saints, I believe, right? Yes, okay, we're playing the Saints. So we beat the Buccaneers. Let's sim this week, see if we can beat the Saints, get to the conference championship for once. I have a bad feeling about this, though. Come on. No, we lost 38-28. Damn. 
Wow, that's a shame. All right, let's go to the offseason, see what we can get. Okay, so I had to franchise tag Kendricks, and then there's no one else I can get. You can look right here. Yeah, I'll look at our cap room. Negative 8 million. So there's so many players I want to bring back too, which is a shame. So we're not going to be able to do any of that. We need to get rid of some players with big contracts that like aren't really going to hinder us or anything like that. Wow, all our offensive line is looking good too. All right. I mean... I'm going to skip the free agency, but there's going to be no money for me to spend on free agency. There's going to be someone big here, too, like a Gronk, a Jalen Ramsey, something like that. Granted, don't really need either of them, but I would like to have one of them. Who's there? Tyreek Hill, of course. He's always there. There's no one else. I, I can't get anybody, so I don't even know why I'm looking, but I am going to scout some players, and I will see you in one second. Here we are at the draft. We do not have any extra draft picks, so let's make our selection right now. This will be the final draft before the final season. Are any of our guys still going to be here? Strong safety, no. Wow. None of these guys panned out? That's There's no way. There's absolutely no way. Let's go to that draft board just in case I miss somebody. Wow. I can't believe that. So would I go for this cornerback, right? Oh, this guy looks so good too, but I'm going to go with this one right here. Hopefully he pans out to be something. Superstar development, there we go. 76 overall, that's exactly what we needed right there. Wow, I did not think he was going to pan out like that, but that is great that he did. Let's look back at our draft board, see if we can make another good selection. I love this other guy right there. Is there any, there was a second round guy, right? Yes, I don't know if he's going to, oh man, do I miss out on him? I think we can take a risk. Let's pick him. Let's see what he's... Ooh, another superstar development. 71 overall, Irvin Porter. Wow, back-to-back -back superstar development. That's crazy. I, that's never happened to me, honestly. On, and I, it's just bullshit luck because those aren't the players I wanted to take anyways. Uh, do we didn't take a strong safety. We did not. So do I take this guy a little early? Actually, we should probably go to available players, go to all the offensive line that we need. What do we need? We need a left tackle, a left guard, and a center. There's this left guard right here that I definitely want to get. The center, not really so much we need to happen. I think I'm going to take this left guard early. I know you guys are going to call me crazy, but I want to make sure he's on the team. Quick development, 77 overall. It says it's a good pick. I don't really believe that fully, but I'll, I'll take your word for it, I guess. What is our next pick going to be? We're going to have to pick a strong safety right here, right now. We can't wait any more. Yeah, I think. Which one's better? I think... I'm going to go with the A- minus hip power, see what he'd be. Normal development, Malcolm Gross, 71 overall. Not a great pick right there, but we lost our, our strong safety, Malcolm Jenkins. So, a little bit of a pain in the ass. Now, what else can we do? Do we just take a risk on some of these other guys? Like, he has a 7-3 combine grade. Do I just tick him? Okay, he's normal development too. At this point, I have so many of my positions filled, I don't really need anything. Is there any left guards or anything? Let's see, left tackle. Ooh, ooh, right there. What? Why is he so far down there? Normal development, 73 overall. A little bit of a reach. Said he was going to go undrafted, but we can make that risk right there. Let's make our last selection right now, and then we're going to go... Well, I'm going to have to upgrade all the players, and then we're going to go into our final season. Let's go to our draft board. Nobody's there that we want. Great. Wonderful. Available. Nothing. 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 Okay. I'm going to take a shot. We need a backup quarterback. That's what's been missing out. We're going to go with the 5-2 guy. Here we go. Normal development, Gabriel Pitta. So I upgraded all my players. We got Wentz to a 92. Ajayi's up to a 94 with confidence. This guy right here, I don't know what his first name is. Patrick Turner, quick development, 79 overall. I must have drafted him last season. He must have been fourth string because he had 37,000 XP. I'm not actually sure why. Can we find that out? Are they going to tell me that kind of information? Oh, okay, gone to the Pro Bowl right there. So he had a ton of XP. That's great. Uh, Jeffrey's up to a 90. He's kind of regressing. Aguilar's an 87. Ertz is a 94. Lane Johnson, 95. Brooks, 85. 89, Kelsey 83, and then we got, our, I don't know if this guy's a rookie, he might be in a second year, okay, 83 overall, and I believe this guy is a rookie, right, yeah, okay, good, now let's look at the defense real quick, I am going to trade McLeod up there in the top left, because we're going to try to get our rookie starting Porter, because he's superstar development, I'm also debating uh, trading Jones away if we can, so that we can have our, ba our back, our third string cornerback, whatever you want to call it, he's also superstar development, but other than that, not a ton of XP earned by my guys. So I'm going to go advance the week, try to trade some players. I'll see you in a second. So nobody wanted to trade for either of those players. So I am going to cut them right now. I'm going to show you guys. It's going to save us any money, actually. It will free $6 million in cap space, but it'll take a $1 million penalty. That's no big deal. Now let's go over here. I'd love to just... I wish I could just put him underneath and have the other guys start, but they're not. it's not going to work like that. 
So let's cut this player. What are we going to get? We're going to free up half a million, but that's all right. As long as we have Ware starting. So let's sim to the midseason mark. So at the midseason mark, we're 6-1. and one. Rather than use a ton of my XP, I think I'm just going to save it for the playoffs. Then we'll pump it into him before the playoffs. Does anyone have a ton of XP? Turner has 6,000. That's not bad. Actually, let's look at our superstar, guys. Porter with almost 7,000. Ware with 13. Oh, 14,000. Even better. Wow, okay. Let's go to the playoffs now. I imagine we're going to get in and we'll be able to pump all this XP into the players. So we were 6-1 and one and ended up going 9-6-1. and one. Is that serious? I can't believe that. So what I'm going to do now, only 22,000 for where? We have 10,000 for Porter. 62,000 for Gross? What? That's good. We're going to have to pump that into him. He had to have won Rookie of the Year. Freeman has 30,000. What is going on? Let's check out the stats real quick, I guess. The Cowboys went 11 and 5, so we have 3,800 yards for Wentz, 26 touchdowns, 13 interceptions. A little bit of a drop off for him. Uh, Jay Ajayi, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. Clement with 12 touchdowns, okay. 800 yards, 6 touchdowns for Aguilar. 900 yards, 3 touchdowns for Jeffrey. 600 yards, 3 for Ertz. 5 for Turney, 2, 2, 3, 3, okay. Let's look at the, the defense real quick. 19 and a half sacks for Jernigan. Where's, uh, where's good old Graham? Only 11 and a half. Nine for Curry, seven and a half for Cox, two and a half for Hicks, one and a half, one, half, 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 half. I don't even, I still don't know why to this day they keep track of half, uh, halves. Four for Hicks, two, two, one, one, one. Not, nothing really special there other than the four for Hicks. Hicks kind of came out of nowhere, this uh, this rebuild. I'll check out the safeties. There's nothing. Oh, actually, there is a safety by Curry. Okay, I stand corrected. No, t uh, no defensive touchdowns. Let's look at the yearly awards. Aaron Rodgers with the MVP. Do we have anybody in the top 10? We do not. Coach of the year. Ooh, we're still there for coach of the year. Not bad. NFC. Do you have anybody in the top 10 for that? No, we do not. Defensive player of the year. Do we have somebody? We have Jernigan's in there. That's good. And then we have Hicks. All right. So two of the top 10. Not bad. Offensive rookie of the year. I'm assuming we don't have anybody. Defensive rookie of the year, though. Malcolm Gross right there. Where's also there? Also Porter. So we have three of the top 10 for defensive rookie of the year. So what I'm going to do now is put all my XP into my players, and then we'll sim the week. So we upgraded all my players, but there's only really one guy I want to look at, and that's Gross right up here. 89 overall. I think he went from a 71 to an 89, or like a 73 to an 89. Crazy, crazy gain right there. And our team is looking pretty solid, aside from the free safety, but he's also superstar development. That's great. All right. Now, the, on offense, I don't think there was anything big. I mean, I guess we got Turner up to an 84, but that's really nothing big right there. So let's sim the week, see if we can beat the Atlanta Falcons. I imagine we can. We shouldn't be 9-6-1, but knowing me, we're probably not going to beat the Falcons. And we're going to be one and done in the final season. Yes, we beat them. Now we got to beat the 14-2 and two Seattle Seahawks. I can't imagine anyone got a ton of XP. If they did, I kind of want to put it into them. Nah, no, not really. Okay, let's sim the week. Let's make it to the conference championship for once. Just once in our life, make it to the conference championship when I want you to do it. No! Why can't I ever make it to a conference championship? What am I doing wrong? I don't understand. Man. Wow, I don't even know what to say about that. All of our guys are getting a ton of XP again. This is such a shame, but that is going to be it for this video. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you like rebuilds, I do every I do new rebuilds every Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern, so make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell to be notified when all my videos go live. I do Madden 18 every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern, so make sure to check those out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.